Have you ever dreamed of taking an old school road trip across the country? Like the kind that inspired Jack Kerouac to write On the Road or Tom Cochran to write Life is a Highway? Like many people in the U.S., I've always dreamed of taking a road trip across the United States to see parts of the U.S. that are more than a plane ride away, to see friends and old acquaintances that have moved to cool cities that I've only read about or seen pictures of, to see the world's largest guitar and other outlandish small town America sites, and most of all, to enjoy the open road. Well, for once in my life, I finally have the time and opportunity to pursue this dream. My name is Christina Herz. I'm a 27-year-old environmental scientist who is passionate about our natural environment, traveling, life, and love. I am currently finishing an amazing short-term job as a biological research technician at a university in Florida where I have been studying wading bird prey concentrations throughout the Everglades ecosystem. Here is a little glimpse of what my adventure has been like. In the summer, I will have two months, yes, two months of free time before I start my master's program in ecology and evolution at the University of Zurich in Switzerland. Not only do I have the time and freedom to finally do this, but I also really need to see what the U.S. is all about before I move to an entirely different continent. Have you ever traveled outside of the country? Wherever we go, as Americans, we get questioned about the amazing things our country has to offer. To most, including myself, the vastness of the United States is unfathomable. While studying abroad in Costa Rica, a local about my age was really excited to find out I was American. He said to me, oh, so that must mean you've been to Miami and New York and California and Texas, right? What are all those places like? I was ashamed as an American citizen to have to admit that although I've lived all 27 years of my life in the United States, that I've never seen most of those places. Can you believe it? What an outrage, what a tragedy. How can I claim to be a patriotic American if I don't even really know the lay of the land? And how can I confidently portray my country to foreigners if I haven't seen the majority of it? I've always made excuses by saying that those places are extremely far apart and not easily accessible to me. But in a sense, isn't it my responsibility to understand our country better so that I can represent it accurately? So that's why I need your support to do this road trip. Okay, so here I am with all this time and freedom on my hands. What am I going to do with it? Well, as an environmental scientist who is passionate about bettering the earth and conserving our resources, traveling across the country in an old yet fuel efficient Toyota Corolla to visit friends and see the sights brings up a little bit of a dilemma for me. You see, I need a bigger purpose and a way to travel without compromising my dedication to the environment. So what can I do in only two short months to achieve that? As I mentioned earlier, when I think of road trips, I think of the quintessential experience of stopping to see the funny roadside world's largest things. You know, like the world's largest spinach can in Arkansas, the world's largest thermometer in California, or the world's largest skateboard in Ohio. Additionally, I want to seize this opportunity to see the wide range of habitats that our terrain boasts. So I got to thinking. If I was to see the largest of something in the rugged and wild areas of the U.S., what would I want to see? How about the biggest trees? Nature makes me feel alive and happy, and I've been known to hug a tree or two in my excitement and sometimes even convince others to do the same. So trees only seemed the natural conclusion for my mission on this road trip. My official road trip objective is 
to visit select species of the largest champion trees across the United States to emphasize the importance of habitat conservation and natural area preservation. I started by contacting American Forests, a nonprofit citizens conservation organization, and ordered their National Register of Big Trees, a list of the largest champion trees of each tree species in the United States. As part of my summer road trip, I will be visiting some of the most interesting champion trees on the list. I plan to visit at least 20 trees, if not more, throughout the country, photograph the trees, and document the experiences. I will include more information about these trees as well as the entire adventure on my website. As an example, I've actually taken a local practice tree hugger trip. On my way back from an outdoor music festival in Live Oak, Florida, I stopped to see the largest laurel oak and the largest live oak in Florida. This laurel oak is a beautiful 19 feet in circumference, and for a laurel oak, this tree is certainly an old soul. But the main draw for me was the live oak in the area. It was located in a park in Alachua County called Selon Oak Park, whose main purpose is to preserve this mammoth tree. According to the University of Florida, the live oak is a southern symbol of strength, and one look at this beauty certainly shows that. It is 29 feet in circumference. 29 feet! If you stretch that out flat, it's more than twice the length of my car. It is only 79 feet tall, but what it lacks in height, it makes up for in overall enormity. It has a crown spread of over 154 feet. Live oaks in Florida are evergreen trees, meaning that unlike most northern oaks, their foliage is persistent throughout the year. Their leaves don't look much like the typical oak leaves you see in the northern U.S. Live oaks can be found from southeastern Virginia to the southern tip of Florida. In Florida, they are known to support epiphytic plants like this Spanish moss and resurrection fern, which give it a really classic old forest look. The acorns that a live oak produce are a valuable food source to many animals, including turkeys, ducks, quail, deer, raccoons, and squirrels, which are particularly abundant in this park. The bark of this hardwood is extremely tough, and the wood is heavy. And when I say heavy, I mean 55 pounds per cubic foot. And it has been proven to be important for use throughout history for structural beams, shipbuilding, posts, and more. And to think, this beautiful specimen isn't even the largest in the United States, just in Florida. The champion live oak in the U.S. can be found in Louisiana and is 38 feet in circumference. All of this information, including pictures and any other documentation, will be found on my website, which has gotten over 450 views in just a month and a half, with over 200 unique viewers. My route across the country and back will begin this July in Florida, where I currently live. I will start by taking a week-long bicycle ride through the Florida Keys, where I will be visiting some of the largest tropical trees in the United States. In early July, I will be moving from Florida back to Northern Maryland, where I grew up and first gained my appreciation for nature. I plan to spend a few weeks with my family and friends in Maryland and Pennsylvania. Toward the end of July, I will be attending a close friend's wedding in upstate New York. Following the wedding, I will begin driving west. My route across the country and back is loosely based on the location of my friends and interesting parks I've always wanted to visit. I have mapped out a few of the champion trees along the route, but there are many more that I could visit if my route happens to change along the way. I will be camping as often as possible along the way, as well as crashing on friends' couches when the opportunity arises. As the month of August comes to a close, I will round out the trip back in Maryland where I began. To bring the trip full circle and to compensate for the environmental degradation of driving long distance in a petroleum-fueled vehicle, I plan to donate enough money to the American Forests Organization to offset the carbon emissions I create during this road trip. So, come follow me at marshmucking.blogspot.com. I need your help to make this the best road trip possible and to support the conservation of natural areas that harbor some of our largest resources.